Hello everyone. This video is unedited. This is just going to be a straightforward video. First, I want to apologize for not coming on here in a while. You know, life happens. It's no excuse, but um, I'm back. And <clears throat> this channel is really supposed to be about total healthy living. And it still is. Um, but what God has given me is not just about having a total healthy living or a total healthy life here, but also after we die. And a part of having a total healthy life is knowing Jesus and having faith in eternal life. So with that being said, um, I had to come on here and share a dream that God has given me. Now it took me about a little over a month to share this dream because I didn't want to come on here and talk about this dream. But it has been a burning desire in my heart to do what God is calling me to do. And I just got to do it. So if you receive this message, awesome. If you don't, then my prayer is that hopefully one day that you do. Um, so let's get to it. Let's just get to this dream. So one night I went to sleep, of course, and I was drowning. So as I was falling down, I was falling down slowly in cold water. So I knew I was drowning and I said to myself, okay, well, I'm not going to die quickly because the water is cold. That's going to give me more time to talk to God. So as I was going down slowly, I said, I accepted the fact that I was dying. But then I also said, Lord, please forgive me for my sins and please receive my spirit. And this is what I said to him as I was going down slowly. So after I said that, I saw this really, really bright light. It was amazing. And I was so relieved. I was so happy. So I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm about to really go and be with the Lord. And I accepted the fact that I, that I was dying because I knew I was going to be with Jesus. So what better place to go, right? So I was going up, just going up, going towards that bright, bright light. And then all of a sudden, I started drifting down, drifting down, drifting all the way down to dark. And as I was drifting down, slowly, it was getting darker and darker. And then I saw shadows, shadows of souls reaching up, and they were screaming. Out of my 45 years, I have never experienced a dream like this. We always say, oh, our dreams are so real. This dream was real, but it was very different. So as I'm going down, I'm crying and I'm like, Lord, God, please help me. Like, get me out of here. At this point, I truly believe I missed the mark. I truly believe that my time was up. I am not going to heaven. This is it for me. And I'm crying and I'm like, God, please don't leave me here. Please, God, don't leave me here. Get me out of here. I need to tell my family. And after that is when God allowed me to wake up. Now, after I woke up, I was in tears. Every time I tell this story. So I told my husband, it was like four something in the morning. And he just prayed over me. And, you know, we just was talking, and ever since, it has been a burning desire to say something. But, of course, you don't want to people to judge you or say, oh, well, that dream just for you. And at first, I was like, well, maybe it is for me, because I know I'm not perfect. But then I was praying, and as I continued to pray, God spoke to me, and he said, I will not give you such a dream only for you, because I love all my children. And I had to tell this to everyone, my Christian family, um, 
that God is looking for true repentance. He is looking for us to turn away from our ways and truly walk with him. There are unrepentance that's going on in the Christian community where we think that we can just continue on living in habitual sin and that there are no consequences for it. I'm just relaying this message that we have to get right with God. God is looking for a relationship with us. He is not looking for religion. And we have to come to him and repent. I don't care what type of sin it is. God is looking for you to repent. All of us. Because we all fall short and no one is perfect. But for those who are in repetitive sin, it is not too late to come up out of it. Because this, this is what he's saying. A lot of us are in this sin and we think it's okay. And we think that we're going to be with him. But we're not. So I had to say this. I had to get this out. As hard as it may be, I had to get it out. So I wrote down a couple of scriptures that the Lord gave me. Matthew 7, 21 through 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But the one who does the will of my father who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then will I declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. John fourteen fifteen. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Isaiah 29, 13. People honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. He's talking to the Christians. He's talking to us. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10. He talks about do not be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. This is Paul speaking to the church, guys. I have a responsibility to get whatever it is that God wants me to say. Why Why did he tell me to say this? I don't know. I know I'm seeking him more. I know that I have a desire for him. Um, the Bible does say that he will, uh, women and men will prophesy and have visions and dreams in the last days. Who knows who he's going to choose? All I know is that I had to relay the message. And we just got to uh, just get right with God. He is searching and he wants us to be close to him in these days. And he wants us to repent and continue moving. on. We're not going to be perfect, but he wants us to move away and live that pure life that he is looking for us to live. So I love you guys. Um, this channel will continue to be about total healthy living, but if God gives us, gives me a message, I have to say it. it's going to be pretty much about everything because I just can't talk about one thing. We have to live a healthy life here and prepare ourselves for eternity. That is just the bottom line. So that's it. God bless you. This message is for my Christian family. But of course, it can also reach those who are not saved. And if you are not saved, please, please repent of your sins and invite Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior before it is too late. God bless you all.